what previous achievements and lessons and credibility did you build upon to land Merck? And when you were in the room closing after the uh, proposal has been accepted, what did it take to close that first Fortune 20 client? Well, uh, I'll tell you two stories, probably which you, you already know. But the first is, to answer I, your I question. Don't. Yes, okay, right. fair enough. He doesn't, yes. The, the, to answer your question, the first one was, uh, I never forget him, a guy named Del McPherson. Uh, and he asked me to... Um, he asked me to come up with a proposal about something. I was introduced to him through a third party. And um, I created the proposal and I came back. I mean, there's no internet, there's no email. I had a physical proposal. And uh, it was for $14,000. And I sat down across the desk from him and I started to perspire and see flashing lights. And I said, I'm having a heart attack. This is not the business for me. Well, I was holding my breath. When you hold your breath for about two minutes, you begin to see flashing lights and so forth. And then Dell <laughs> says, uh, this is fine, let's do it, just like that. And I said, oh, my God, it should have been 35000 right? So I learned the lesson <laughs> that I needed options in the future. And, you know, my work is full of options. And so you don't just provide a take it or leave it. So I learned that right there. The second story is about the second or third year I'm in business, you know, things are okay, they're not great. And my wife and I decided pretty late in the year, we needed 68000 to finish the year safely, not have to go into debt and so forth. And I had an appointment at Merck again. And I went down and um, uh, I went into the buyer's office. He's got a friend there, a colleague. And he says to me, Alan, we're going to go ahead with this. I said, really? He said, yeah, we love it. I said, um, which option? He says, oh, option three. Option three was $68,000. So I said, you know, can I call my office for messages? He said, sure. So and they're all cubicles. Uh, there's no privacy. So I go to a cubicle. I pick up the phone. And I call my wife. And I said, uh, this is Alan. I'm calling for messages. And she said, did you get it? Did you get it? I said, yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's fine. She said, you did. How much? How much? I said, um, oh, I think you're referring to the year we graduated. She said, grammar school, high school, college? <laughs> I said... I said, college. She says, 68. Th I said, uh, thank you for the message. And I hung up. So <laughs> that's, how things, that's how things were in those days. 